The Green Party of Colorado is an active, vibrant branch of the National Green Party of the United States. And uh, we have a lot of projects that we work on. We're very proud to be running a candidate for uh, county commissioner, Jefferson County Commissioner Scott Zuloft, and a uh, candidate for State House uh, 34, Tony DeLalo. And we also are running a Senate candidate, Bob Kinsey, www.kinseyforsenate.org. Uh, Bob Kinsey is a retired teacher and minister as well as a tireless advocate for peace. He has worked uh, uh, a lot all over the country in abandoning nuclear weapons and also on the issue of peace in space, which is to eliminate uh, the weapons in space that the government uh, has put in space and continues to work on that program. The Green Party does voter registration, we do tabling events, we do environmental uh, events like park cleanup. Uh, we work with um, other groups in alliance with groups that um, work with our 10 key values. We hold monthly meetings, we have a state website, and anybody that wants to hear our message and um, see what the Green Party of Colorado is about and the Green Party in general, we encourage you all to get involved and come to our website, www.coloradogreenparty.org, and find out what we're all about and send us a message and check it out. My name's Claire Ryder and I'm the co-chair of the Colorado Green Party and I'm proud, very proud to be a member of the Green Party, member of the Colorado Green Party, and I espouse to live my life and my political life by the 10 key values that we hold true in the Green Party. And because of that, any political decisions that we make, we base them upon our 10 key values. Uh, the week of August 24th to 28th in Denver, Colorado, the Democratic National Convention is going to be held. And as Greens, we made a conscious decision not to protest the convention, but to protest the message and to protest the occupations of other countries. Because of this, we chose to participate uh, with a group called the Alliance for Real Democracy as we felt that they were more aligned to our 10 key values. We weren't so much concerned about the other groups being potentially Democratic groups or not Republican for sure, but we felt that our, mes our message would best be put out by working with these other groups, including the Iraq Veterans Against the War, the Veterans for Peace, Code Pink, Students for a Democratic Society, American Friends Service Committee, um, and some other groups that are organizing around the DNC. Um, because this is the world, the eyes of the world are going to be on Denver that, that week, uh, I felt it was... Uh, important for us as the Green Party to make a strong unified message to the world and to, to everyone attending the, the Democratic Convention uh, about the Green Party. We wanted to get our word out that we are indeed a uh, an alternative to the two-party system, which I consider pretty much a one-party system because I don't see a whole lot of difference between the Democrats and Republicans. So we felt that it would be a great uh, avenue for our candidates uh, to be able to uh, have their message get out as well. I contacted Cynthia McKinney um, early, late June, early July, um, and asked her if she would come to Denver and speak on behalf of the Green Party during this week. And she agreed that she would. In fact, I was very proud at our national convention because at the national committee meeting on Sunday, she stood up and said, Claire Ryder from Denver has invited me to come speak during the Democratic National Convention. And that was a proud moment for me because I was so excited that the Colorado Green Party was gonna do something positive and we were gonna get recognized and really get our green message out. Um, so we uh, set up a fundraiser for Cynthia McKinney. Uh, she was also going to be the keynote speaker at the Resurrection City Free University, which is part of Tent State. And we had several other opportunities where she was going to be able to speak. And the Colorado Green Party was extremely excited. Um, I used my personal credit card to pay for her ticket. Uh, we had a designer design a poster. We spent a lot of money. Well, I spent a lot of money making copies. And we were flying ring all over the city. It was on all the calendars. We were getting media hits. We were extremely excited. Um, and uh, I was having a hard time contacting, getting in touch with Rosa Clementi. Uh, she finally got back to me and said that she didn't need a ticket and everything was squared away. 
and see you in Denver. I wrote her back and asked her what her needs were for lodging and everything, and I didn't hear back from her. And so I wasn't too concerned, and I just figured we would hook up and p perhaps get together beforehand and plan a schedule. I had spoken with Cynthia McKinney's scheduler and had alerted them to all the different activities that were going on. Uh, Sunday, two weeks ago, I spoke to Rosa Clemente, who called me and said she did indeed need a ticket. And so I offered once again to pay for her ticket, and she brought up uh, the group Recreate 68 and said that she was going to be speaking with them. I voiced a concern that Recreate 68 did not align with our 10 key values, that they did not work with the Green Party uh, here in Colorado. Uh, indeed, if you go on the Recreate 68 website, there's no link to any other groups because there are no other, no other groups that work with Recreate 68. So um, she, I sent her some information in the email per her request, and she wrote me back later that afternoon that Sunday saying, no Recreate 68 for me, only black and Latino and GPOC events. I took that as a no, that there would not, uh, they would not be participating in the Recreate 68 events, and uh, we were happy about that. Um, so... Um, the next day, Monday morning, I woke up and Recreate 68 sent out their speaker list and um, Rosa Clemente and Cynthia McKinney were on their speaker list and I was quite surprised. I don't feel that as a campaign they needed to check with us on what they did. Certainly not. That's not the issue. Uh, the issue I would have liked a courtesy of saying this is what we're doing. Does it fit in with our schedule and your schedule that you've gone out of the way to prepare for us, including lodging um, and all that other sort of thing that goes along with organizing a visit. Um, and so I wrote them and I said, we have some concerns about Recreate 68 and it's especially important that our local candidates are not in any way associated with Recreate 68 because of the reputation that they've gotten in the local media as well as in the community here and that we did not want to associate the Green Party name uh, with Recreate 68. I did not get any answers to my emails. Um, this went on all day Monday. Monday night I got a call from um, Ms. McKinney's scheduler who said please issue a statement that says that we're in no way um, associated with Recreate 68 and I issued a two-sentence two statement that the Green Party of Colorado and the National Green Party were not associated with Recreate 68 and they would not be speaking there. That statement was issued by request of her scheduler. As far as Recreate 68 is concerned, Recreate 68 burst on the scene about 18 months to two years ago. And they announced there were, I think, four of them in the core group that they announced, we are Recreate 68, this is our name, we have our websites, we've squatted these other websites in hopes that the Democrats will have to buy them back from us. This is how we're organizing, this is how the meetings will be run, and this is their decision. Uh, and then they held a meeting. Um, so many of us in the, the activist groups and the local peace and justice groups here, of course we went to their meeting, but we were disappointed, um, to say the least, that they didn't put a call out to the community, that they didn't say, hey, let's all have a meeting here in Denver and see what we want to do when the DNC comes. Instead, we had it handed to us. This is our name. This is what we're doing. And um, many ex people expressed extreme concern over the name. Personally, I didn't have so much of a problem with the name, but let's face it, who wants to recreate 68? Uh, I hope that it's not recreated in the streets of Denver uh, during the DNC. Um, and many people expressed their concerns also about the lack of a, a nonviolent statement, and nonviolence is one of the 10 key values of the Green Party. Indeed, the uh, local Green Party invited a representative from Recreate 68 to come and talk to us, so we made our decision whether we wanted to be involved with them or not, and we decided that we did not want to be involved with them.